welcome back to the channel guys gloria obo here again it's good to be back um if this is your first time please do not make it your last keep coming back to watch my content and enjoying all my videos i know you love it yes <laughs> so thank you to the new subscribers thank you for joining the family and honestly i do not take that love for granted so today's video is going to be really quick and precise no so much drama like we always do here so i just want to walk you people through my new skincare routine and how i apply my product so at this point i'm going to be starting with like my um morning skincare routine so let's go without further ado let's not waste time we are getting into it right now um okay first of all i'm going to like dampen my face like with some water to just make my face wet and for it to be receptive to receive anything i'm putting on so i'm going in with my panoxyl creamy wash this is what it looks like panoxyl creamy wash i'm going in with this so i use this to cleanse my skin and massage it into my skin so we go in rub 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 so guys i know if you've been following the journey you know that oh my skin is not where it was as a month ago we are actually getting improvements my acne breakout has reduced in my last video i put out all the um skincare products so at this point i only i at the last video i didn't show my cleanser but i'm going to show my cleanser in this video so this is me applying panoxyl to my my creamy face wash this and you know the 60 seconds rule when you are like washing your face you have to wash for 60 seconds and that's like the basic rule so usually what i do is when i'm washing and i'm all into it i just count 60 1 to 60 in my head and it actually helps so i wash this for i do this i massage it and clean to my face for 60 seconds and make sure my skin soaks up everything and absorbs it basically try to keep it away from your eyes because hmm, you don't want this thing getting into your eyes it hurts like crazy so rub 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 by the way i'm counting 16 in my head <laughs> so rub it in rub it in rub it in and after i do this after my 60 seconds is up i go in and i wash my face i'm going to wash my face i'll be back so guys this is me i'm done washing my face so i'm just going to go in with some kitchen towel i purposely use um kitchen towel or tissues to wipe my face because um you we have these rules of no of this there's this existing rule of not using um your body towel to clean your face and this is because it is easier to like transfer um germs and all kind of unwanted bacteria to your face and you know your facial skin is actually very thin and sensitive so you don't want any unnecessary um bacteria or germs settling on your face and making you break out or anything so basically um other people opt for using maybe like small towels or a different towel but i feel for me i feel safer using a kitchen towel or like tissue to clean my face and um, toilet paper to clean my face because i just feel like it's safer easier faster easy to dispose i don't have to worry about rewashing or trying to make sure oh it doesn't come in contact with anything that worries me basically so up next i'm going to go in with my facial cleanser and i didn't show you people in the last video so this is my facial cleanser this is the um aquel tradition 5.5 aquel so this facial cleanser is like quite popular almost everybody like uses it and stuff so i've been using it for like a week now and i think um one thing i noticed about it is like it, it's, it's more like it, it acts as a toner and as a cleanser too so i noticed like my skin is kind of like lighter kind of i don't know maybe it's my mind though but i think um visibly i can see that it kind of tones my skin and like it really cleanses your skin deeply because when you are cleansing the next thing like when i'm cleansing and i'm cleansing and i'm looking at the cutting wool like it's all this like very very dirty and i'll be like i just washed this face so how come it's dirty like this dirty already so i feel like it deeply cleans um cleanses your pores and just i don't know just does all the good stuff to your face so i'm going to go in with that now on my cutting pad and just wipe 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 so um for the record whenever i do my skincare i like to turn on the fan like a standing fan because I just feel like it just helps like everything in every product i'm using like like my skin absorb it faster so the air makes it like easier for it to absorb and everything just diffuses or disappears into my skin and 
I'm a sucker for skincare products that disappears. Honestly, I don't like maybe putting on skincare or product on my face and I'm all oily and ashy and everything. So I just always want my skincare to be like non-existent. Even though the only part I don't like about it is sunscreen. My sunscreen kind of makes me all shiny. But aside that, I would I don't think I'll trade it for anything because it does what it's supposed to do. So I cleanse my face twice. I go in the first cutting bowl and do the first cleansing because I feel like oh the first one will not be able to get out all the dirt and the residue and everything I should plan to achieve. So I go as far as cleaning my neck area too because it's still part of your face in as much as it's not part of yeah. I do this too, so yeah. I don't want to show you guys what I just cleansed up, but let me show you. You can see how it is like literally i just washed my face and i could still get this amount of dirt guys so you see how important cleansing your face is very important so yada 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 so in between me applying my skincare products i try to like wait for like a period of one or two minutes for everything to like settle in for my skin to like adjust to what the new thing i'm putting on even though i do this every day like a routine now but i just try to like make my skin like rest after each application of a product so this is me trying to like make the cleanser dry off on my face i don't know why i just feel like this video is not coming out as i wanted to come i'm kind of skipping today i don't know what's wrong with me though but I've, i had a really long weekend because i had a lot of work to do so probably that's why i'm not like flowing the way i should flow but please when you see this video just ignore how i'm speaking and just enjoy and learn what you need to learn and just be good and i'm wearing my bonnet because i'm taking down my braids so my hair is a mess and I don't know i'm still in the first of taking down my braids so i'm not done yet so that's why so up next i'm going with my pore minimizing cream if you watch my last video you would see this so this kind of like helps like uh, with oiliness it refines your pores and just for those that have like really visible pores on their face it, i think you should try this pore minimizer because all my visible pores honestly they disappear i just have like a lot of visible pores on my nose and this part of my face but i don't see them no more that kind of you know the egyptians you see today you don't see them anymore so the pores i used to see before I'm happy they faded and they're still fading so this is one thing I know I'm not taking out of my skincare product soon so I know um, regular um, skincare product application they'll tell you oh pea sized but for me I don't apply the pea sized rule to every product like the products I know I, I use as much as I want to because I feel like it's going to give me the like maximum effect if I use it like well enough but the pea size sometimes for me does not really do justice because it might not spread across your face evenly and you don't want some parts covered in skincare and the other part looking all ashy and dry so for me for my um for my pore minimizer i try to apply as generously as possible well not overly generously or overly um too much so it will be all oily and stuff so i just apply like a really good amount that would sink into my skin and give me the desired result i want so that's it sitting pretty and please one thing i learned again guys please watch your eyes when you're applying skincare products watch your eyes because i've had in the course of this new skincare journey honestly i've had really terrible moments whereby i apply skincare and i like get to like my eye and uh, my eyelashes or very close to my eyelids and especially for my morning skincare routine so once i'm done with it and i want to step out maybe go out for a walk or something and i'm in the sun or probably just trying to walk from my house to where my uber is parked guys like when once i just come outside like i just start having this burning sensation in my eyes and it's really painful and peppery so i start tearing up and it's always a mess so just try to watch out for your eye area it's only when i know i'm not going out i even try to go as close as possible to my eye and i don't fear it but if i'm going out no eye area please because no i cannot do so that's our second um third that's our third product for the routine so up next i'm going with this favorite everybody loves um this um advanced nail mousse essence power everybody loves it because it's literally a lifesaver even men i saw on twitter where men were saying oh if you see this thing in your girlfriend's routine please steal it because it you will thank them later honestly it works magic it leaves your skin feeling like flawless and smooth and really vitalized, um, revitalized rather so it, it serves as a moisturizer for me i used to like moisturize my skin and like i said in my previous video my skin just says 
thank you gloria thank you for applying me thank you thank you i love you blah 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 blah. yeah i know i know <laughs> so i'm going to go in with this i go in like five to six puff for my face and i just do this do this do this it's really slippery and slightly slippery, 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 slippery. oh no okay so i go in with this after i apply my pore minimizer so i let my skin just suck up all the goodness and this another one is this i don't hold back when i apply this on my face this is like three weeks into using it and you can see where it is three weeks or maybe three and a half weeks thereabouts and i don't hold back i just apply as much as my, i feel my skin needs because one very essential part of skincare is you moisturizing your skin like your skin needs to stay hydrated every time so you being stingy or not applying enough moisturizer leaves your skin feeling thirsty and dry so part of the um skin issues i had was my skin was like really really dry even when my esthetician checked it she was like oh your skin is not hydrated at all so i tried to hydrate my skin with this as much as i can i make sure that i apply it like well so my skin has enough um goodies to suck in and to keep in so this is this for that apply evenly everywhere so um i know people say oh most people say why am i not applying it like um, on my neck because they'll tell you do your skincare on your neck too but i think i'm not recovered from the bad experience i had with doing skincare on my neck because when i had my issue with um overdose overdosing on retinol that really gave me the old um, dried skin hyperpigmentation a um, massive um, acne outbreak so i was applying that retinol product on my skin at that point like on my neck area all the way because oh i had spots there too and guys trust me it was horrible because one week into using that product i think one week or four days thereabouts like i started itching like i couldn't see what was making me itch my neck but my neck the back of my ears like was so so itchy i was always itching my skin it was bad guys trust me like at night it was bad i couldn't sleep because i was itchy early hours of the morning i would that literally wakes me up because i wake up itchy like i tried a lot of things i i didn't know it was even the retinol that was making me itch because i've never had it for the records if you're using retinol and you're itching just stop like because i was like okay my face is not itchy so why is my neck itchy it was horrible guys trust me because I tried there's this thing i tried buying dusting powder i rubbed dust powder it didn't work i bought calamine lotion because i was thinking oh maybe i had like a measles outbreak that was even horrible because it, it literally gave me relief but it burnt my skin like all this part of my skin was like burnt and peeling guys it was horrible trust me so if you're using a product and you just doesn't see any side effect and just discontinue but you might not know because i was thinking oh what could it be i didn't know it was red retinol i didn't believe retinol would make me itch i did not believe it but you want me it was retinol so that was it and after i discontinued the itchy was still like going on for like a week then it stopped finally and that was how my whole retinal journey came to an end so guys um after i applied my moisturizer i let it sit for a while to let my skin like suck everything up and just you know enjoy every bit of everything i'm applying on then i go in with my sunscreen so this is i know this is wrong but usually when i'm indoor because i'm indoor most of the time i work from home so when i'm indoor i don't apply sunscreen but my dermatologist my esthetician was like you have to apply sunscreen every day because um in as much as you're indoor as far you can see as far inside your house is bright like ample sun rays still have like a very high chance of penetrating through your windows or your doors or something and get to your skin they so have to wear sunscreen but when i'm in i keep my windows closed and i don't wear sunscreen but for the purpose of this video i wear sunscreen for you to see so i don't wear my sunscreen like religiously when i'm stepping out of my house but if i'm not if i'm indoor nah no sunscreen i don't know i know if she sees this she, she might like, say oh i don't i'm not listening or anything but whatever so they'll tell you oh, apply sunscreen generously but for the purpose of this video this is my own generously because i'm not going anywhere i'm just doing this for you so yes i go on my sunscreen and i apply i always do this pattern that i put on my forehead my, my cheeks first then my forehead the ocean and the guns so i'm going on my sunscreen generously on my face Unscreen my face to protect my skin from harmful UV rays, and I just I, I, I apply this on my face. Then I apply it like this, and I let it sit and just 
sit on its own and allow my skin to absorb it by itself because your skin is like i don't know when i say like foam so it just it just knows what to absorb and what not to absorb basically so i just like this sit for a while then after a few minutes it starts to disappear on its own and i just blend it in so this is it it's called a pure block this is a pure block sunscreen it's quite tiny though but it does what it's supposed to do protects my skin evenly and i don't know feels good i don't know why i feel like i'm not as enthusiastic I'm not as enthusiastic as I used to be when I make my videos. Probably because it's morning, so I'm just getting out of bed and trying to like start my day. So it's just making me all not hyped up, but we're staying hyped. So yes, at this point, waiting for my sunscreen to disappear. And once it disappears, we are good to go. Skincare complete. Morning skincare routine is done okay so that's it guys thank you for staying tuned thank you for watching my videos to my new subscribers thank you and i hope you stay and invite more people to subscribe and please i can overemphasize this please subscribe to my channel like i think at this point i have to be kneeling down to beg people like i get a couple of um new watches when i check my algorithm and everything that youtube is doing like behind the scene for my channel's growth and i know that when i get a couple of views just subscribe already you can just watch and go please subscribe Thank you guys. So subscribe to get more content and I would see you in my next video. Bye. While I blend in my sunscreen. I don't want this video to be long. So guys, I have to go now. Thank you for watching. I'm still blending my sunscreen till I bring a new video to you. See ya.